Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are going to talk about how to fix Adobe Dynamic Link not working. Step 1. Ensure version compatibility. Launch both applications to check their version. In a Premium Pro, go to the Help, then click on About Premiere Pro to check the version. In After Effects, go to the Help, then click on About After Effects to check the version. Step 2. Terminate dynamic link processes. On Mac OS, quit all Adobe application and open the activity monitor and terminate the dynamic link manager process. On Windows, quit all Adobe application and open the task manager and end the dynamic link manager process. This can help in re-establishing the dynamic link connection. Step 3. Rename Dynamic Link Folder. On Mac, go to the your user directory and open the Documents folder and look for the Dynamic Link Media Server folder and rename it to Dynamic Link Media Server OLD. Navigate to Library, then click on Application Support, then click on Adopt and repeat the renaming process if the folder exists there. On Windows, look in your user directory for any Adopt related folders. If you find the folder related to Dynamic Link, rename them to see if it resolves the issue. Step 4 Clear Cache Files. In a after effects, navigate to edit, then click on purge and click on all memory and disk cache. In a premium pro, navigate to preference, then click on media cache and delete unused media cache files. This might in removing potential corrupted cache files that might interfere with a dynamic Step 5. Reset Preference. For After Effects in a Windows, you just have to hold the buttons called Ctrl plus Alt plus Shift. Or you can use a Command Prompt plus OPT plus Shift for Max while launching the application. In a Premium Pro, you have to press Alt for Windows and Option button for Mac OS while launching. This reset the preference to default settings. Step 6. Use render and replace. For complex composition causing playback issues in a premium pro, right click on the dynamic link and clip and choose render and replace. This render the after effects composition and replace it with a video files, reducing the load during the playback. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to our channel.